These days when record sales are totally a different game, I think you have to realize that that's kind of like the flyer to get to your show. Um, and a lot of people, uh, good or bad, uh, get it, get your record for free. Right. Yeah. Right. So when you're yeah. in the studio for a few months at a time, you know, uh, that's like your world. That's the most important thing. But then after that's done, we're just going to be on the road for the next couple of years doing the live show every day, every day. So that's going to be. And the songs our world. evolve too. Right. Mm -hmm. But I, we are so proud of this new album. It's called Picture Show. It comes out April 17th, and I think it's a step up for us from our last record. The songs are as strong as the first record, but I think. We really paid attention more to the production, and so now it's that game of taking that and what we did in the studio and making it sound good live. And so we're still figuring that out, but uh, it'll be fun. Yeah, because we'll we don't we don't limit ourselves in the studio as far as looking too much into our live show and saying, well, how can we recreate that? Oh, there's three guitars on that song. We better not do it. It's making the best record possible. So I think also what's fun about that is because. We spent so much time and care, like on the synth and, and making the, these modern things. But we also recorded the drums, the bass, and the guitar at Ocean Way, which yeah. is like you know Beach Boys, yeah. like very we classic, huge back. room. Mm -hmm. And so we spent a lot of time getting great drum sounds and great bass sounds. And, and we great used the reverb chambers there too. Yeah, yeah. 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 something else cool that was stuff. something else that was really cool is that. Uh, you know, we, we just, we played until we got the right takes and, and we didn't chop it all up. It's not, and it's not a chopped up record, awesome. which is cool. And it, I mean, we're still a band that uses a lot of um, cool production gimmicks and sounds, but it, I don't think it overly sounds like that. And that's what I must said about this new record. And awesome. what I would urge rock bands and, and even dance bands to use is, that, is to be organic about what you do. Well, well that's something I learned the Beatles recently, the Beatles did really well was just concentrating on the record and I think that's isn't that why they stopped playing live shows because they couldn't yeah yeah produce it. <laughs> they well and they and they had horrible PA systems like if you watch yeah. uh, you know the like Shea Stadium the crowd was like, too loud the crowd was <laughs> so loud Ringo was like I can't even hear you guys at all it's ridiculous yeah I, I think they had been so practiced at that point that they didn't mm -hmm. even need to hear themselves like they knew exactly it's, where it's they pretty were. astonishing what a yeah. great problem to have though all right you guys you're too loud quiet <laughs> You're too excited about us. There's too yeah, many people exactly. here. Yeah, it's just horrible. <laughs> there will never be a band like the Beatles. They are the Beatles because of when they came out and what they did for music. And so I have mm -hmm. an all new appreciation for that. For I had a band. very similar experience. Because yeah. growing up, I was a Led Zeppelin fan, like from the time I was seven. And there always seemed to be some kind of argument Led Zeppelin or the Beatles. So just naturally, since I loved Led Zeppelin, I automatically was like, well, Led Zeppelin, not the Beatles. And so for some reason, I just didn't let them in. You know yeah. what I mean? It was like, I had to pick one or the other. Which is an but you know, you way know every song they do. Right, so it's like, yeah, right. exactly. But I then, guess. you know, after you get out of high school, same thing, like all the kids who liked the Grateful Dead and the Beatles, I was like, oh, bandwagon jumpers, <laughs> you yeah. know, whatever. But then you listen to the music, and you're like, oh, wait, there's a reason why they're extremely popular around the whole world. Absolutely. It's because they made songs that people could sing, and they, they made music that had a lasting impression. And doesn't every band want to do that, really? Oh, yeah. So as um back to the live sound kick, you guys are huge live sound fans or live music fans. Sorry, um, what bands, uh, if any, are you guys excited about seeing at South by? Kasabian, uh, 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 Santi Gold. She um she it's been a while since she's put music out. Like four years. The or thing, something. the trouble with South by is the last two years I've been like making schedules and and I'm gonna go see that band and then we get to it and we never have time because we're doing our own thing, which is great. But uh, so this year I've been into it blind so I'm excited that I'll even get to see maybe one band so I don't really know a lot who's playing. It is nice that we get to play the 101X show tomorrow night with Kasabian and Fun because they're two bands that would be fun to see. Yeah. So, so it's like, oh, we're already going to be there, so we might as well check it out. So we can actually build that into the schedule, but otherwise you really yeah. have a hard time building well, things into the schedule. And people in England would, would just love the opportunity to see Kasabian in a small, you know, Club, yeah, however many right. people are going to be there, a thousand people or something like that. Like, that's small for them, so it's going to be cool. That's one of the coolest things about South by for sure is you see all these artists in like these in just, bars. Yeah, yeah. close <laughs> settings. We saw Courtney Love last year. It was yeah. last year or first year in, in a bar. That was fun. That was, it was, it yeah. was like a sweaty mess in there. So yeah. weird. That's cool. Um, speaking of sweaty messes, um, <laughs> yes, the bus gets very hot very quick, as you guys I'm sure can see. Um, any stories of the road, uh, Beatles-based, John Lennon influences, anything you guys 
South by stores, anything like that. What do you got? We saw Yoko last year. Yeah, oh, that's, <laughs> going, that's going right. That's my <laughs> last year, we're over at the Four Seasons for uh, South by Southwest. A meeting, not, we don't stay there. Yeah, <laughs> Just to course. clear that yeah, up. Yeah, we were there cleaning the restrooms. Um, <laughs> anyhow, so I'm walking out the front door and Yoko comes walking in. I'm th and, you know, I'm crapping my pants. Thinking it's, it's Yoko. Yeah. And so all I, all, all I can say is, Yoko, I love you. And then she's walking away, and I thought, I have to say something else. So from a distance, <laughs> I, I put a fist up in the air, and I go, double fantasy. And she does the same thing back. She gives me the fist. It's yeah. like, Smiles. why do you shout the name of their record, like, at yeah. their face? Exactly. Because you're so really saying, I know. I, I know. I know. Yeah. I know you. I feel you. I feel you, OK? Uh, <laughs> she probably just did not know what to say. She's like, yeah? She definitely okay. didn't remember that. No, but exactly. you do. she's yeah. not going to come back, you know, <laughs> tomorrow and say, Talk about the oh, South yeah. by Southwest experience she had with a random guy There was a, beard. a stalker that was doing <laughs> double fantasy. Are you wearing those glasses for any chance? No, you did that? no, okay. I, I bought these those on tour. Those would be memorable. Yeah, <laughs> I bought these on tour in Portland. Or not. You know what's funny is I know exactly how you sound when you said that, because we were at the Beatles Love Show, fifth anniversary in uh, Vegas last year, and like mm -hmm. everybody was there that had it anything to do with the Beatles. Um, great. George Martin, um, Yoko, Paul, the only one that wasn't there was Ringo. Anyway, point of the story is, as soon as they did this like whole red carpet event and any one of those members came out, whether it be Paul or Yoko, whoever, people lost it. Like just yeah. people oh, yeah. shouting whatever. Like I Shrill even, cries. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just children crying, babies in the audience. Just to, like, Babies were crying. Babies right. were, yeah. that's how <laughs> much Pe the Parents Beatles, were holding they babies were, they above their the heads. They were at the Las Vegas casino show. show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, just, uh, it, was, it was incredible. I actually saw the, I mean, I didn't go to that ex special experience, but I, on my honeymoon, over like a little over two years ago, we went to the Beatles Love Show as one of our activities. Right on. Yeah, and? it was great. I right. loved it. We got really great seats, and it, I mean, Cirque du Soleil is cool anyway. But then you couple that with Beatles music, and right. it just makes it over the top cool. So it was really fun. Not to ruin it for anybody else, but um, were you above or below the sheets? And that's all I'm going to say for our viewers. Below. You're below the sheets. I was above the sheets. Oh. Not bragging. I'm oh. just saying, I'm pretty sure I have a better perspective. You, I don't know. You may have. I don't know. You may have. You got to do it again. And we were down like above. right even with uh, the little play, plank stagey yeah. thing. I can't say what's better because I'm sure being below it just is the trippiest thing. You just got to go, you, you got to do both. You do it again. Yeah. Do it one more time. <laughs> yeah. What part stuck out I'm for you? I'm lost. <laughs> uh, well, uh, basically, I just, what stuck out to me was that humans can do that. Yeah, like, right. literally, the whole show, I was like, and no, I don't know how that, what are they doing there? Like how, and the people swinging, how are they not afraid to death of falling? Right. And then the skateboarders and the rollerbladers came out and I was like, okay, pe people on skateboards wreck. Like that mm -hmm. happens. Like how do they not just wreck every night? But they didn't, nobody wrecked. It was crazy. How do they, it, how it do they practice Tony it Hawk. to perfection? Is that where Tony Hawk's been? He's been doing the love <laughs> right? show. No, yeah. I mean, there are like Giant. eight of them. Right? For it. Yeah. The, you're talking about the rollerblades. It's yeah, nice. so just the sheer, the sheer human feat. <laughs> of being in that. Yeah. I mean, the Beatles music is great and the choreography is great, but what they're doing with their bodies is ridiculous. Yeah. It's crazy. I grew up, for some reason, being anti-rollerblader. We had this yeah. really stupid saying called RBH. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. Like, I don't know. I'm not going to say what it means, but anyway, I had this whole yeah. like conflict going on in my head, like, oh, rollerbladers, they should be on skateboards. But I'm from California, so I'm a little That's bit biased. That's understandable. Yeah. So, I think well, rollerbladers feel the same way about uh, Chris 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 looks like uh, Blair Hamilton. No, not him. I thought it was him because no. he because I think he looks like oh. Blair Hamilton. <laughs> Who so was I thought Blair it was Hamilton? him. A surfer. Right? Laird. A surfer. Oh, Blair. Laird, Laird Hamilton. Laird. Oh yeah, yeah. Laird, Laird, Laird Hamilton. Hamilton. You were thinking yeah, about whatever. Blair from Fla Facts of from Life. Gossip Girl. <laughs> yeah, I thought you looked like Blair from Facts of Life. I'm sorry. <laughs> she was the pretty one though, so they should be flattered. I look like a girl. Okay, cool. Right on. Where has this interview gone? I don't know. Derailed. That's what we're doing, though. We're on the job. Starting with Clive Owen and Jennifer Aniston. Who are your influences? I mean, any, anywhere from Gang of Four to MC5 to Duran Duran to to The Who to... Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Prince. Prince. Whitney. Oh, yeah. yeah, Whitney. Mm -hmm. So, Whitney um, great pop music that lasts and stands the test of time is songs that we want to write, so... Yeah. Awesome, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you guys close it off. Thank you so much for cool. coming by. Thank you so for watching. You. Um, I'm gonna have you guys on this camera. Take it away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
What, what are we supposed to do? All right, thanks Just everyone for watching. We're on the <laughs> uh, we're John, like... <laughs> we're on the John Lennon education <laughs> bus. We're on the Lennon bus at South by Southwest, and we're neon trees. Peace. Cool. Double fantasy. Buy the new record. Oh, buy our new record, April seventeenth. Oh yeah. Cool. Cool. Buy it. <laughs> <laughs>